Today, I want to talk to you about 1,000 true fans, 1,000 true fans. This is inspired from an article that I read some time ago that talked about how having 1,000 true fans can really create for you a living. May not necessarily create you a fortune, but definitely can create you a living. And sometimes we have this idea that we need millions of followers or hundreds of thousands of followers. But this particular article by Kevin Kelly, he talks about how if you could just get 1,000 true fans, and we'll explain to you what true fans are a little bit later in today's episode. But if you could just get 1,000 true fans, you truly could create a living. And I like to say also create freedom in your life. 1,000 true fans. Somebody type that in the comments for me. 1,000 true fans. And so let's go ahead and hop into today's topic of 1,000 true fans and how that can help create for you the freedom and the income that you desire. So Kevin Kelly, in his article, he shares seven tips around what it takes to in, to have or to create or to build 1,000 true fans for your online-based business. And you know, I love talking about personal branding and online-based business because it is an opportunity for you to be able to create greater freedom in your life and greater income. That over the last five years in my building, my personal brand and primarily uh, being online as a content creator, as a quote unquote influencer, as someone who is desiring of more lifestyle freedom and owning more of my time, I am a firm believer that as as you create community around your brand, around your services, around your value that you provide, the more freedom you have to really do all of the things that you truly want to do in your life. The more freedom you have to spend time with your children, to pursue the aspirations that you have, the more income you can create via online, which is the great thing about building a personal brand business. And as I'm talking about this, this is also the beginning of me really coming on each week, sharing more about how do you create income in a way that allows you the freedom to be able to uh, match maybe what you're making on your nine to five or more in a way that is streamlined, in a way that is uh, simple maybe not easy, but simple in a way that provides for you the opportunity to have options. Somebody say options in the comments. Options. So let's talk about this a little bit here. So Kevin Kelly talks about in this particular article, and I'll put the link in the comments for those of you who are watching me live tonight. He talks about how building this audience of true fans really can create a living for you when it comes to income. Because your true fans are people who will buy whenever you decide that you want to maybe write an ebook. They will buy or support you when you do your workshop or maybe you're at arts and crafts. It doesn't matter what it is that you create. They are a true fan. They're somebody who wants to support you. They've connected to your story. They've connected to your message. They've connected to your personality and how you deliver content. They just are individuals who want to support you and who want to see you win. True fans, true supporters, people who want to see you succeed in your business and in your life. But there are seven things, seven things that Kevin Kelly shares in this particular article that you would really need to implement in order to create your 1,000 true fans. Seven tips. And so we're going to talk about those seven tips, and I'm going to kind of add 
my own personal story around how I've implemented some of these tips in my own business. But I want you to take notes and share your questions as well in the comments if you have questions. Uh, I might even decide to even take calls today. So if you are interested in maybe calling in with your question, I will post how you can call in today for this episode and share your questions live. And that way on the podcast, they'll be able to hear your question too. And so I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, I am going to share in the comments the number that you would need to call in order to call in with your question as I'm going throughout the presentation. And then towards the end, we will take any questions, any phone calls, if you would like to call in. But let's go ahead and hop into to these seven tips of how do you create 1,000? How do you create 1,000 true fans? The first thing that he says that you have to do in order to create 1,000 true fans is that you need to identify what your niche is. You got to find a niche. You have to find your niche and make sure that there's a large enough market to support your business. So when we talk about what is your niche, is you get to decide where that expertise lies. So for me, my niche is personal branding and online business. As I think about the market for personal branding, it's a large enough market when it comes to individuals who have my experience, who are individuals who are experts in their particular industry and they want to shift from their career, their nine to five, into becoming a speaker, into becoming a coach or a consultant but they want to leverage their personal brand in building that business. And so when I talk about personal branding, I talk about it from a standpoint of how any entrepreneur, any business owner can really leverage their personal brand to drive traffic, to drive interest, to drive their marketing to their business or to use their marketing to drive people to their business. And when it comes to personal branding as a niche, it's broad enough in a sense that I'm not necessarily pigeonholing myself into a particular place, but I'm using the concept of personal branding as my broad niche. But I could talk about podcasting and leveraging your brand through podcasting or leveraging your brand through uh, live streaming or leveraging your brand as a speaker. So I could go down those various avenues as well through my niche of personal branding. So you want to identify what's your niche. Your niche could be helping individuals to write their first book or to become an author. Your niche could be you are a a plumber who wants to help other individuals who desire to get into starting a plumbing business, teaching them your strategy of how to build a profitable plumbing business. It doesn't matter, but you want to make sure you choose a niche and then you want to do the market research to make sure that that niche is large enough to be able to sustain your business. So tip number one is you want to choose your niche. So if you already know your niche, type in the comments, let me know what you believe your niche is in the marketplace. What is your niche in the marketplace? Your niche could be SaaS, software, building software and selling that software to small businesses. Your niche could be arts and crafts. In particular, you quilt, maybe. And your niche could be teaching individuals how to quilt. There are niches all across the spectrum. There are people who are making money, who are building audiences around their unique niches. So what would be your niche for your business? So the first 
tip that he says in order to start building your 1,000 true fans, you've got to choose a niche and do the market research to make sure that that niche is large enough to support your business. Tip number two, tip number two, and I also will put the the article link in the comments as well as in the podcast description as well. Tip number two is so important. If you're going to build true fans, then you've got to create valuable content. You got to offer valuable content. You've got to provide solutions to people's problems. And you can do that through video, through podcasting, through live streaming, through blog posting, through writing books, writing ebooks, creating online courses. So you got to choose how you're going to provide value. I have chosen live streaming and video podcasting to provide value each and every week to my potential clients, my potential customers to create a community of people who are interested in learning how to start their own podcast, learning how to build their personal brand to attract business, learning how to live stream or have their own online show. One of my new products, services that I'm going to be providing this year is virtual show broadcasting. Individuals who want to start their own video podcast or their own show online, we will have a service that does the behind the scenes work for you. And all you do is show up as the talent. We'll do your branding. We'll do your graphics and we'll work the broadcast behind the scenes as though you are uh, doing the news or your own talk show. And you just show up as the talent to present your content. How will you provide value to your end user, to your client or your customer? What will be your media outlet? I love video. I love to do my podcast via video because I'm a speaker. I'm a teacher. I love to do it this way so I can touch as many people as possible. But some people who podcast, they only want to do audio. and That's fine. They don't like to do video. Some people don't want to do video or audio, so they have a blog that they share their valuable content and they drive people to their blog. And so you've got to identify how will you be sharing your content? Where will people access your solutions? How will they access your solutions? So in order to build your fan base, in order to build your community, you've got to choose how you will provide the valuable content. How are you going to provide valuable content? Type in the comments. Let me know. What will be your way in which you will provide content? Will it be video? Will it be a blog post? Will it be a podcast, audio only? Will it be through eBooks or an actual physical book? It could be all the above, actually. It could be all the above that I could do a video podcast I could take those podcasts, ultimately create a blog post. I could take those blog posts, ultimately create an ebook, take the ebook and ultimately create a physical book of many of the episodes that I do. It all depends on what is most innate for you, I like to say. So in order to create, in order to create, your valuable content, what will be the outlet for you? What will be the outlet for you to create that valuable content? All right, tip number three. Tip number three. After you have identified your niche, you've studied the market to see whether or not you're, the niche that you want to go into can support your business, you have now are starting to create content, whether that be through video or podcasting or blog post or a community of all the above. Number three, you got to have some level of personal connection. 
How will you connect with the people who follow you? What is the connection that you have? And you connect through your personal experience. So one of my connections with individuals was that I was a career professional. I had a nine to five. I had the bachelor's and the master's degree. I had a great job. I had great benefits, but I realized that there was more to my life than what I was doing. I wasn't necessarily fulfilled doing the work that I was doing. I was always daydreaming about opportunity of utilizing my voice to help inspire, to motivate it, and to cultivate people's minds to believe in their dreams and to learn how to leverage their skills in the marketplace, to build a business that they truly love, to create the income that they truly deserve and the life that they crave. And so in telling my own story and my process of going through the journey of being laid off my job and deciding that I was going to bet on myself, bet on my skills, bet on my gift and my talent and create opportunity for myself is an opportunity for me to connect with individuals who may be still on their nine to five and who felt the same way or who may have gotten laid off. And now they're wanting to make a decision to follow the course of entrepreneurship. How will you make connection with your target audience? What's your story? This is where you have to learn how to tell your story, share your story. Learn how to be able to infuse inspiration in what it is that you are are doing. So what's your story? What's your story? And as you are sharing your story and connecting with people, you're building an audience of people. You're building your audience of true fans who want to support you, who want to see you succeed, who want to connect with you. So tip number three, tip number three is you got to build personal connection. And tip number two was you got to create valuable content. I don't think I shared that on the screen. You want to create valuable content. And tip number three, once again, is you got to build personal connection through story, through your values. What are your values? Through your personality. Because here's the thing. After watching the Super Bowl yesterday, you had people who enjoyed Rihanna's Super Bowl performance. And you have people who didn't enjoy Rihanna's Super Bowl performance. And yes, I'm saying uh, Rihanna because she said in an interview that people call her Rihanna, but her name is Rihanna. How you pronounce her name is Rihanna. And so you've got to you build a community based on people who are connected to your story. Connected to your personality. Connected to how you present, how you speak. Connected to your uniqueness. People who connected to you are people who are wanting to purchase from you. They do become true fans. Tip number four. You got to leverage social media to build Your community of true fans. You got to leverage social media to build your community of true fans. And you don't have to start on every platform, but which platform do you believe your target audience is? Where is your target audience? Are they on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Twitter? Now, you may expand to the other ones. So like right now, I'm live streaming this episode on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, 
on my Facebook business page all at the same time so that I can capture where I know my audience is. I have audience on Instagram. Instagram is my largest audience right now with over 10,000 followers, followed by my Facebook with over 8,000 followers total. LinkedIn has about over 3,000 connections. And so where is your audience? Primarily for your message, for your service, for the product that you provide. Where is your audience? In order to build your true fans, you got to know where they are. One of the things that I notice, even with social media, the more active I am on social media, the higher my website views go. The less active I am via social media, the lower my website views go. And so I have to ask myself, do I always want to be active for my website views to always be my numbers to continue to go up on social media? Or do I want to build a different business model? You have to ask yourself that question as well. What type of business model that you want? One of the things that I am engaged in right now is I'm shifting to learning how to properly blog and leverage SEO for my website so that I don't necessarily always have to be active on social media, but yet I know how to generate traffic to my website using search engine optimization, learning how to write properly so that I'll rank in Google's algorithm. But I can leverage social media to help build that audience, to help lead them in the direction that I want them to go via my website so that they can learn more about me and also learn more about my offers that I have as a business, as a personal brand business. Hey, just popping in real quick to say two things. Thank you for listening to the Maximize Your Brand podcast each and every week. And number two, I want to let you know that I am offering a brand new program called Laser Coaching with Markeith Brayton. I know you have dreams. I know you have aspirations and things that you want to do. And sometimes you just need a little bit of accountability to get you moving in the direction that you desire to go in. I can remember back in 2014, when I first got laid off my job, I had a decision to make. Was I going to pursue my dream or was I going to go back to the nine to five rat race that I just did not enjoy? And the only thing that really helped me to make that decision was that I invested in myself and got coaching. And that coaching was tremendous in my making the decision to keep going and pursuing my entrepreneurial dream of becoming a professional speaker and a digital personal brand coach. And today I want to make that same offered opportunity to you that if you're ready to move to your next level, if you're ready to learn how to leverage your personal brand for a business, then this opportunity is great for you. Laser Coaching with Markeith Brayton. It's a three-month time frame where you get up to 15 to 30 minutes unlimited laser coaching. But there is one caveat. You have to make sure that you finish the homework from each coaching session before you schedule a new one. And once again, it is for a 90-day time frame and it's unlimited coaching 15 to 30 minutes, you can schedule as many as you want, as long as you do your homework in between the sessions before you schedule your next session. So if you are interested in laser coaching and this offer, I want you to go to markeithbrayton.com forward slash laser coaching. That's markeithbrayton.com forward slash laser coaching. And let's move you in the direction that you want to move in because sometimes you just need a little bit of accountability to help you along the way. I look forward to seeing you signing up for Laser Coaching with Markeith Brayton.
type in the comments. Let me know. Do you have a website? Do you have a website? Are you leading people to your website through your media outlets? Do you know your numbers, right? Are you tracking your numbers? Are you tracking your analytics? That's the question that you want to ask yourself. So tip number four is you want to leverage social media and you want to use it to reach your target audience, reach your target audience. Tip number five, tip number five in building your audience of true fans. You want to collaborate with others. Now, this is an area that I do okay in, but I'm not the best. And so I know that I should be collaborating more with other coaches, other speakers. You know, I've always noticed that when I am collaborating with other coaches and speakers, there are always opportunities that come my way in an expeditious way. I've had so many various opportunities in my business through collaborating with other content creators, through collaborating with other speakers and coaches. I've spoken on many stages and been hired as a co-coach for many communities through collaboration. But here's the thing. When you're collaborating with others in your industry, you get introduced to a community who may not even know who you were. So that's where collaborative work is important because you're wanting to be known. You're wanting to be seen. You're wanting to get paid, (laughs) right? Well, through collaboration, you get to connect with others' community who didn't even know you even existed. That's where collaboration becomes so important. Collaborate. Tip number five, collaborate with others, other experts in your industry. Hopefully this is helpful for those, somebody who's watching today. Let me know in the comments if this is helping you. Type a one in the comments if this is valuable. Those who are watching the replay or listening to the replay, hey, let me know by typing in the comments, hashtag replay, and typing a one in the comments, letting me know this is helpful for you. Tip number six, you got to offer products and services. If you're going to build a business, you got to offer products and services. You got to have something for people to purchase. (laughs) And you got to make the ask for people to purchase. We're building our 1,000 true fans so that at minimum we can make a living. If at minimum we can make a living with 1,000 true fans, now we have the option that maybe we're building this on the side. Maybe we're building this on the side in order to leave our job. Once you build this on the side and it matches your income or succeeds your income on your job, guess what you have the option to do? You have the option to pursue the business full time. You have the option to leave that job and pursue your passion full time. But you can't do that without offering products and services. You can't do that without making the sale. You can't do that without asking for people to purchase or to support you on your journey in your business. So building your 1,000 true fans, when people purchase, that means that it's something that you're providing a value to them that they're willing to exchange their money for the service or for the product that you're offering to your target audience. 
Last but not least, tip number seven. Provide excellent customer service. I think we all like good customer service, right? The difference between maybe going to the local McDonald's and the local Chick-fil-A. A lot of times it's just the customer service, the experience. That the line, I've never been to a Chick-fil-A, in Nashville at least, where the cars weren't wrapped around the building. (laughs) Never been to a Chick-fil-A where the customer service was different than any other Chick-fil-A that I've been to. They have impeccable customer service and it makes you want to go back. The alternative is not so good customer service. And nine times out of 10, you won't go back to the place that didn't have the best customer service because you don't want to deal with the experience. So you want to provide excellent customer service by responding to your customers inquiries in a in a prompt way that's how you build a following that's how you build your 1000 true fans so once again this was inspired by an article entitled 1000 true fans and kevin kelly provided these seven tips on how do you build that audience of 1000 true fans of people who will support you, people who will buy whatever it is that you create, right? So let's go through those one more again. Let's go through those one more again. Number one, identify your niche. Find a niche that you are passionate about and that has a large enough market to support your business. Number two, you want to create valuable content, whether that be through blog posts, videos, podcasts, e-books, physical books, online courses, workshops, trainings, however you want to provide valuable content, you choose what's most innate for you. Tip number three, you want to have personal connection with your target audience through story, through experiences that you share, personality, your values. Tip number four, leverage social media. Leverage social media. Use social media, but don't let social media be the main thing, right? But now you can use social media to reach your target audience Share your content, build relationships, and then you want to send them to the place that you would have them to go to be able to capture their email information, maybe their phone numbers, because they are true supporters and fans. Number five, you want to collaborate with others who are in your niche, with other experts in your field, so that Their audience gets to know you. Your audience gets to know them. It's a win-win. Tip number six, offer products and services. Why? So that you can generate income, so that you can build your revenue. These products and services should address the problem that your potential clients and customers are having. And tip number seven, provide excellent customer service. It goes without saying that you want to make sure that your customer service is impeccable, that you follow up with individuals who have questions, that you provide the value that you say you're going to provide. That will help you build your 1,000 true fans. 1,000 true fans, an article written, I think it was like 2008 on how to build 1,000 true fans so that you can make a living. Now, of course, we want you to make more than just a living, but if you could build this on the side and build it to the point where it's generating more income 
than your job or maybe it's a side hustle that's generating income for you to do the additional things that you want to do, whether that be flipping homes or starting a business on the side. These are opportunities. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today for this episode. And, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought about today's episode. Before we go, if you're not a part of my text community, I want to invite you to be a part of my text community. All you have to do is text the word maximize. Text the word maximize to 877 640 Five six three two. Once again, that's one eight seven seven six four zero five six three two. Text the word maximize so that you can get notifications of when I'm going live or any live events that I might be doing, live physical events that I may be doing, or just to stay abreast of the various episodes that we're doing on the Empower Show and the Maximizer Brand podcast. Once again, text the word maximize to 1-877-640-5632. If you feel like you need some help in building your brand, maximizing your brand and building your audience of 1000 True Fans, I invite you to learn more about my laser coaching opportunity Go to MarkeithBraden.com forward slash laser coaching. That's MarkeithBraden.com forward slash laser coaching to learn more about that opportunity. If you're ready to maximize your brand, if you're ready to leverage your expertise online and package that knowledge as a business, I'm your person to help you to do just that by teaching you how to leverage your skills, your expertise, and how to package that so that you can live the life that you crave and generate the income that you deserve. So thank you for joining me today for this episode. If you're not subscribed to the Maximize Your Brand podcast, you can subscribe to the podcast on any of the major podcasting platforms. and you know, let me know, leave a comment there, leave a rating or review so that we know what you think of the episodes and what we're doing with the Maximizing Brand Podcast. Well, until next week, I am thankful and grateful for you joining me on the major platforms, whether that be Facebook, LinkedIn, so on and so forth. But until next week, I appreciate you. And just remember this, always shoot for the top because it's the bottom that is overcrowded. Take care.